Good morning, ladies. Okay, so to start with our session, okay, the lesson is called the characteristics of cells. This is the name of our lesson. It's up here, and it's in module B, unit one, and it's lesson one. Oh, you gotta know that this is the name of the lesson. It's called the characteristics of cells, and we're basically gonna learn what are cells, and you know, uh, we have kinds of cells. We're gonna learn about that, and we're gonna learn about how we see cells. Okay, you can find in the PowerPoint, these are the lesson objectives. You don't have to worry about that. So, what can you see when you look at this with your eyes? And what can you see when you look at it zoomed? So, this is a plant. When you look at it with your uh, regularly without the microscope, you can see a regular plant. But, let's say we zoom in. We zoom in more. And we're able to see cells. You see all of this? These are all cells. We're able to see cells. This is one cell these are many cells so a plant is a living thing and that's why it's made up of cells okay now in order to see the cells we can't just look at it and see cells no we have to look using a microscope so in order to see cells we're gonna be needing a microscope a microscope has lens that enlarges the image and makes any image larger Okay, now if you look at this, this is a human, a human cells inside in sinus cells inside the nose. This is, these are onion cells. This is one cell, two cell, three, four. So each unit is a cell. Okay, this this is bacteria, bacteria cells. Okay. So we have several types of cells. Bacteria is also a living thing. It's very small, you can't see it, it's, but it's a living thing, so it's made of cells, okay? We have two types of microscopes that we're going to be learning about, okay? Only, we're going to be learning about two types. First, the light microscope, which is the one we have in the lab, we will be seeing, and the second is the electron microscope, okay? Now, you have to know the difference between both. So, the light microscope, it... Uh, forms image by directing light so the way it works is through light that goes up uh, through a, a specimen or an organism this one uses electrons so from the um, a beam of electrons so from the word you'll be able to know so electron microscope uses electrons a beam of electron but a light microscope uses light that shines through the lens so that's the difference between the two that's the first difference one of them uses the light, the second one uses electron, just like their names say. Um, the electron microscope gives a black and white image. However, the light microscope, you're able, you'll be able to see colored images. So that's another difference. This has more resolution. That means the resolution, yani the picture is more clear. Honey, it has less resolution. Yani it's less clear. Okay? This has, this is better. In, in terms of being clear. This has more magnification. You're able to see uh, a, the, a bigger magnification. You're able to see more. This has less magnification. Okay? The color one. This is harder to carry. Look at it. It's bigger. This one is harder to carry. This is easier to carry around. This is really it's huge and it's difficult. It has to be placed in one place. This one, you can just move it from one place to another, the light one. Okay, so that's the difference between these two microscopes. You're going to be needing to understand, you're going to need to um, understand the difference between these two. And you have to know each one of those differences. Okay, that's it for today. We'll continue tomorrow.